I think this channel is pretty much officially dead. And if you take a look at the view counts over the last few videos, it's pretty apparent. But uh, when you take a look at the back end, it gets way worse. And look, I could show you all of these analytics, but here's the big key. Impressions, 48% less than the previous 28 days. Basically, YouTube is showing my videos to subscribers about half as often as it used to in December. If you're getting some deja vu from this clip, then don't worry, you're not alone because Boogie has done similar videos to this within the past year where he basically comes online and says, hey guys, I know you're all thinking it, I'm thinking it too, I'm just a pathetic, fat, useless chunk of shit, and here's my sad, pathetic, decaying channel. Won't you send me some money and feel bad for me? Come on, guys. Show some sympathy. Spread some cheese on this bread. You know, it's like... And Keemstar made a pretty good Twitter post about this that was basically like, if you're going to make videos about your de decaying channel and how you're going to change it and what you're going to do, then just fucking do the changes, right? We don't need this preamble of you saying, I'm going to... I'm gonna do more, more Magic the Gathering content. Okay, just post the Magic the Gathering content. We don't need these random update videos in between there saying shit. You can put this in a community post. That's why it's there. You can post it on your Twitter and I can make fun of you on there. You know, there, there are multiple options for you to accomplish this and it doesn't have to be a five minute long video. And in fairness, when I first started doing this channel, way back when, I used to make promises like this all the time. All the time is a little bit, a little bit stretched out, but I used to promise I would do certain things and I get busy. You should never prom if you're a content creator out there watching this, never promise something unless it's actually in the works or it's done. Because if you have these grand ideas for something, until you actually start working on it and seeing how much effort it takes to do, there's no point in announcing it because you might burn out, it might not work out well, you might scrap it, there's plenty of things that could go wrong. And I've done it a million times on this channel, I just haven't announced things to people. I've started stuff and said, damn, this isn't working out how I want it to. And Boogie's interpretation of his impressions is not unexpected. He talked about how all of his old shitty fat man flops and water and flips tables and whatever uh, just wasn't getting views anymore. So that's where the impressions are falling down. But 11.4 million impressions, not too shabby. That's not too shabby. I mean, for, for reference, I think... I think last month I got like 8 million impressions, so it's not great when you compare a 4 million subscriber channel to a 15,000 subscriber channel, but either way, I'm babbling too long. We're going to talk about a bunch of different things about Boogie, and even Wings of Redemption is going to make a guest appearance. Isn't that exciting, guys? Let's cheer for Wings of Redemption, so let, let's get into it. It's time to do something drastic because I'm putting on weight again. And this time I've made it all the way up to about 415 pounds. Along with that, I'm losing my mobility again. I've had to break out the walker, thankfully not the wheelchair, but the walker, and I've had to start walking on it again. How bizarrely uncomfortable this body is. I cannot believe, I can literally, how do I function as a person? The atrocities that we committed to the body, when the body is the temple that your spirit resides in. That's why it's uncomfortable because you pissed it off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yep. Mistaken? Was he sitting on the floor shirtless? Reminder, so we're, we're sort of jumping back in time a little bit because my previous video about Boogie talked about how his shaman scammed him and then went over some of the Wings of Redemption stuff. This video, I wonder, is this what spurred Boogie to eradicate the shaman from his existence you know is this where they both got high on mushrooms and he threw his dog or whatever that boogie made up i don't know possibly but the funny part is boogie went on this whole twitter escapade talking about you guys i've gotten rid of all the fast food and all the sugar and all the bullshit and i'm gonna be healthy i'm gonna lose weight and he makes this video 
where he basically is examining losing weight over seven days and we'll get to the results at the end and i'm skeptical obviously but the fact that this man openly admits hey guys i'm using my walker again but don't worry don't worry trustworthy boogie is here and he's gonna he's gonna fix his health by taking some weird you know crackhead and have him medicinally induce me with mushrooms and it's gonna cure me it's gonna be great for me but i have a friend who is a medicine man for the native american clan that he's a chief of okay oh i'm standing up i'm not physically exhausted i'm actually able to stand up and walk around and he has offered to help me many times the first thing we did was some medicinal therapy and he sent me off to space while i was floating around the universe ryan and my girlfriend went to the kitchen and found all of the sugar and all of the processed food and took it out to the dumpster to get rid of it and then they went grocery shopping and replaced all of that unhealthy food with fruits and veggies and meats and low carb non-processed options so that when I got back from outer space, the only thing I'd have to eat is good, healthy foods. So let me get this straight, Boogster. You are tripping balls inside of your house and your 14 year old girlfriend and the guy that clearly peaked in high school and is still hitting on high school chicks those two sneak away and take all your food away take all your mountain dews your coca-colas your cheeseburgers all of them are gone and then they proceed to get in a car together and they go to the grocery store and buy a bunch of healthy food which everybody knows healthy food really cheap really affordable everybody can do it that's why everybody's so healthy and lean with with their own money obviously because desi and shaman firewater man it, they're both very <laughs> very well endowed their bank accounts are full they've got bitcoin they got stocks they have a 401k they got it all taken care of yeah sure while you're just staying at home blasting away yeah i'm sure that's what's happening i also want to comment on i i'm gonna i'm gonna bring it up every single time since he keeps or he mentioned it previously that he hires an editor and that's essential for his content now comparatively compared to the last video that i saw that he edited this is a little bit better this is still dog shit right because i feel like if you're going to edit shit it has to be either really subtle and sort of nuanced or it has to be like super high quality super over the top and you can't really fall in between because then it's like it either leaves you desiring something less or something more and we're fucking editing pictures of flowers coming out of Boogie's head. And we got Minecraft music in the background. Now we're doing like dubstep music. It's just a, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. And Boogie wonders why this doesn't work. It's probably because it's not 2012 on YouTube anymore, Boogie. This isn't going to blow anybody away. I'm 25 years old. I used to walk three to four mile days when I was 25 years old. Walk to the bus stop, walk, you know, back and forth, get to work, and that's how I did everything. And then we get hit by the car, and that was it. And here we are 30 years later. 409.6? Holy crap! Five pounds in three Five days. pounds, baby! Uh, I, Good job. Hey, look, I don't mean to be like Nikocado Avocado. That's water weight, that's water weight. That's probably actually just water weight I've lost, but boy, I feel better. The annoying part of this entire thing is Boogie's gonna try and and trick the audience into thinking, yeah, you know, me eating healthy for one week made my body feel astronomically better. Now, typically, you'll do certain things. You know, maybe maybe if you struggle with sleeping, you you just have an irregular sleeping pattern. If you start eating better, it can help. It can make you feel better. Or if you just eat less inflammatory foods. You know, me personally. A lot of acidic foods can make me feel more inflamed, so I try and avoid eating a lot of like tomato-based stuff consistently, and like that makes me feel a little bit better over time. But to pretend like, ah, uh, yes, I lost five pounds of water weight because maybe it was I don't know a quarter pound of actual fat that he lost hypothetically. He's so big and he's so small that like 
five pounds is pretty negligible. It's There's a chance that there's no fat that was lost at all there, and it's all water weight. And his body fluctuates through... Most bodies fluctuate like five pounds a day anyway, so it could just be that. It could just be you're weighing at a time that your body is less than normal. Either way, it's just... It's it's so annoying to sit here and, and you know, Boogie obviously made this video to try and garner sympathy of people thinking that he's actually going to make a change in his life. And there's plenty of people on Twitter that were supporting him because he was posting shit that was like day two of not eating junk food. And obviously that died <laughs> pretty instantly. He doesn't post that stuff anymore. He doesn't say, oh, yes day 15 of eating healthy that doesn't exist anymore because boogie isn't trying this is all skit and that's fine you can do that but let's let's at least be authentic in some way bookster uh number one i will not quit on learning to love myself i am most likely a covert narcissist i've heard that a million times every therapist i've ever talked to has told me i got to learn to love myself to get better hey one of the major reasons i'm on youtube is because I wanted to help people a little bit, right? I mean, obviously I wanted to help myself. I am a covert narcissist after all, but if I can encourage other people to get better and to learn from my mistakes and to do better than I did, hey, I'm all about it. So that's what this video is about. Native American defense stuff. This was given to me uh, by Chief Flaming Star Ryan. And I, it's got some crazy stuff on here. There's the nutrition facts that everything has to have. And then on top of that, you can see the ingredients here. So I hate to burst your bubble, Boogie, but uh, looking at that sheet that you had written down, it sort of looks like a uh, fourth grade writing assignment from me. You know, it's hard to lambast people for their handwriting because it's like, eh, some people have good handwriting, some people don't, but it literally looks like something I would have wrote in fourth grade. You say, uh, I'm not going to lie anymore. No more lying, guys. Yet, your entire persona on the podcast is you lying consistently, non-stop. That's who you are, Boogie. So I'm just supposed to believe that you're a transformed man. Also, these dietary supplement things, anything that you can get over the counter, mm, it's probably not going to do a whole lot. Probably not going to do a whole lot. There are certain things, I mean, I'm sure, I, I looked through some of this stuff in there, it's all just like natural, organic stuff, and like, yes, there are some medicinal properties to certain things that exist out there, like, I remember I used to take turmeric a decent amount, a decent amount, like once or twice a week, and it would help with inflame issues every once in a while, but it's not like, it's not a remedy to like prescription drugs that you get prescribed from a doctor, right? So... Whatever, you know, sugar water that he's being fed here is not actually going to make a monumental difference in his progress, but why do we even bother questioning him? Good. You look good. Like, my back doesn't hurt anymore, and that's, like, my biggest issue. It's easier to get up and walk. I still feel weak as a kitten, which I guess is probably makes sense because of the testosterone and the diet changes and everything else, but... 405.2. Nine pounds in five days. Oh my gosh. Nine pounds in five You're days. You're doing so good. Low carb works cutting out sugar or Jesus Christ. It's just that easy. My first cheat meal and I feel like garbage. All this protein and meat has set on my stomach like a brick, but it's kept me from being hungry. I had greasy fried fish for dinner and it feels like garbage. And on top of that, I had my first soda in a while and that sugar made me violently ill. Now that I'm taking the sugar back in, even just this one time, my back is killing me. I have been skipping my pain medication doses, my tramadol doses, because I didn't need them. I'm definitely going to need them today. Who the fuck is believing this garbage? Yeah, you guys. In, in five days, I lost nine pounds and my back was magically healed. Jesus Christ himself came down and performed a, mi a miracle on Boogie's back by having him take mushrooms and, and Native American prescribed dietary pills. <laughs> That's what cured him, guys. But now, now that he had Long John Silver's more than likely, you know, you're not going to name drop it. First off, Long John Silver's gross. Gross. I don't understand the concept of it. I like, I like fried fish, 
I do. I just don't understand the concept of going to a fast food place and getting it. Secondly, the the sugar comment is not too far out of left field. Sugar is kind of like a poison <laughs> to your body. Some people don't react to it as much as others, but it's like to some people, me included, it can be very addictive. You take it and it like becomes a dependence on yourself and it sort of supplements and sort of infills for like necessary vitamins and nutrients that you would be getting with other food but you just crave sugar all the time but for boogie to pretend like having a mountain dew is what causes back instantly to turn horrible yeah buddy sure maybe it's uh the fact that you're probably eating a little bit less than normal and that's why you're losing a couple pounds a day once again not a fat and you're i don't know it looks like you traveled you're inside some hotel <laughs> so your body's probably in pain from sitting in the car all day because you can't endure that i don't know just spitballing of eggs and meat for breakfast and uh, i'm not gonna lie to you it stopped tasting good but it's still food and uh it's enough it's enough nutrition and enough uh calories to enough protein to keep me from being hungry for a while so I'm just gonna, gonna put it down. That looked really good five days ago, I won't lie. Now it just looks like food. 401.2. Oh 414.5. That's, that's 13 and a half pounds. That's basically 14 pounds. That's basically four, 14 pounds in two weeks since I started this. That's basically 14 pounds yeah. in seven days because the most of it came out in the last seven days. And that's with the cheat meals and the stupid mistakes and everything else. We're, that's the most way We're doing it. That's the most. You're doing it, we're doing it. I'm so proud of you. I hate this shit. I really do. And I hate Boogie. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious. I've said it so many times. And there's, there's something about his dumb, stupid face and his girlfriend's obvious over embellishment of what's happening that just makes me super frustrated because I've gone through weight loss before and it's, you know, one of the, one of the main factors is, and maybe it's just me, maybe other people do it, how Boogie does it. But anytime I've gone and looked at the scale from one day to the next, and I don't know, it, it says I lost 1.3 pounds. All right. In my head, that's one pound and Boogie's head, that's two pounds. That's not how it works, chief. That's not how it works. You have to undercompensate, then overcompensate, right? And, you know, part of the reason why so many people struggle to eat healthy and lose weight is because they're eating shit like what Boogie showed of eggs with a slice of cheddar cheese on top that's, I don't know, slightly melted and a sausage link. And they're going to pretend like that's going to that's going to satiate their their needs. They're not going to feel the desire to go eat, I don't know, 50 cookies immediately after this. I don't know. It's just like, I don't know who he thinks he's trying to fool. But who we know isn't going to be fooled is Mr. Wings of Redemption. I said he was going to make cameos. Well, guess what, Buckaroos? He's here. You're fine. Like, like look at it this way. Boogie and myself have always gotten female attention. We're 400 pound land monsters. Our favorite activity is sitting on our ass and forming opinions. And you might ask yourself, you and, and a lot of people say like, well, you get women I wouldn't want. Kelly's a fucking gym. A gym. I look I wake up every day and count my lucky stars that I got a woman as good as Kelly. I'm going to let you in for a little secret, right? The entire time I've done YouTube, the entire time, there was always at least somebody that was in my DMs. Whole time. Do you really think Boogie's woman's with him for fame? Nah. Boogie's girlfriend is dating him is because she's an emotionally broken, distraught, young girl who never had a strong male influence in her life and was manipulated and fooled into dating boogie that's the reality of it <laughs> right and you know you can try and flex on people wings by by comparing and saying me and boogie we always had women looking out for us we always had you know the hottest chicks 
I've seen the woman that were after you, Wings. And yes, Kelly is way better than you. But wh- I don't. You only use her as an example of, you know, I don't know, flexing when it's convenient for you. We all know you don't like Kelly. We all know that you don't actually take time out of your day to console her and look out for her. You only have a vested interest in yourself. And it's quite obvious, buddy. All right. Once again, it's like the two, as as Wings describes them, land monsters think that they can pull one over the general populace because somehow they think they're smarter than us. I'm not going to let that slide, Wings. One of the things I see Boogie do all the time, and I called him out on it recently on the podcast, is he kind of like condescends to Desi, right? Like he'll talk to her as like an authoritarian or a father figure or like, or like a like that she's a dog or some sort, and I I, I keep calling him on it, like tell you, like dude, you're not her daddy. She ain't a dog. It's a partnership, regardless of what you do for her, right? And if she if you value her in your life, you work things out and you come to equal terms, regardless of what happens in the house. No, I'm not saying he's treating her like garbage. Okay, and I'm saying he's being demeaning. Like, if you think being treated like garbage is somebody like talking down to you every now and then I got some news for you (laughs) just to wait until you get a full-time job and for once wings makes a very astute observation boogie is very demeaning towards desi whether or not she wants to admit it or whether or not anybody else in the sphere of boogie wants to acknowledge it that is what's happening he constantly is Dizzy, can you get me my my shitter that I can put under my ass cheeks as I talk on Lowcat Live, please? Can you do that? She's also sort of like a prop in his life because I'm not going to be convinced that these two are having sex. I'm not. Sorry. I'm not going to be convinced of it. Boogie can't see his dick. She's probably struggling to find it. And no matter what anybody tries to tell me, I know she's being tricked and manipulated and plenty of things can run haywire but you're gonna tell me the first time that she saw boogie take off his clothes she was like oh yeah i definitely want to get down with that i really want him to crush my back and just destroy my structure give me scoliosis that's what i'm really looking forward to no she's really just like a friend like a i don't know when you were like six years old your next door neighbor was your best friend that's the vibes i get they do these stupid ass little skits together and it's just straight cancer it's unwatchable it's garbage alternatively make a bunch of smaller videos and spam the channel this is youtube and i'm not mr beast so guess what you're normal to do i'm going to spam the channel <laughs> I mean, that's what worked before. I did daily videos five to seven days a week. I really should be doing that again now. Makes perfect sense. That, I like being dramatic. I like being weird. I like being goofy. I like vlogging like my friend Michael and Jesse did. I The way I used to do it, I want to do it again, and I'm going to do it again. I know a lot of you hardcore audience members are just going to get really annoyed by that, but I, if I'm going to do the other stuff as well, I got to do that. I got to. I got to. It's it's clearly what people want to see, but it's also something I really miss making. I like them, Boogie. <laughs> this is what worked for me, guys. Back when I was getting 25,000 views a video on my 4 million subscriber channel, I was posting more frequently. It was working for me. It's like... The man is dead on arrival because I think he wants to go back and do these kid behind the camera style vlogs because some some dents out there are going to be fooled into thinking this is the real boogie. We're witnessing a glimpse behind the curtain and at the same time those style of videos did do better typically than the content he does now and I don't know and, and part of it too is like as you start to work through the YouTube sphere, the algorithm, whatever, you start to understand that like your content can't be so varied because then the algorithm won't be able to figure out who to recommend the videos to, right? If you're like struggling to pull in, like, you know, Boogie's pulling in one one millionth of his subscriber count. So it's like, I don't know. Why do I even bother? It's not worth my time. Now we're going to see a very scripted video of Boogie and Desi just being fucking dumb. 
you doing? I'm, I'm cleaning. In here? Yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, it's kind of a, kind of a lost cause. You could clean anything else in the house, but I don't want you, like you were inches away from that very expensive Shiv and Dragon statue. You know that, right? Yeah, I was gonna be careful with it. Yeah, you it's can't. It's dusty. Everything in here has a layer of dust. You realize that, right? Yeah, okay, this room, this room is just kind of a lost cause. Do you understand? It's, it's gonna stay like this. No, it's not. Not if I'm living here. I, I'm. It's Why? Not. Why does this bother you? I have OCD and this, you don't this have is not OCD. Okay. Yeah, this is, yeah, you don't have actual okay. OCD. Look, I got all okay, set up romantic with the candles and. I'm literally giving you crap over because. It's yeah, because you won't give me crap after you like it. We'll okay. See. Yeah. Look, I poured us drinks. I got cards, packs ready to open. Try your drink. Try is your it drink. Mine? Is it, is it wine? Is it's it obviously wine? not wine. I can't give you wine yet. That is Coca-Cola. <laughs> if you want to understand the game, read the cards. Reading the cards explains the cards. You can read, right? I'm not in the mood to read. I'm in the mood to clean. <laughs> well, read first. It's just torture. Torture. You know, how do you sit through, edit this video and be like, yeah, this is a banger. This is what, this is what my audience needs to see. This is this is gonna get me the views, buddy. My, and of course, Boogie Boogie framed this video as being my girlfriend and I broke up or some shit like that. He's he's used the breakup as like a catch for like four different videos, and it's just it's tiresome, dude. I'm tired. I can't do this anymore, boss. It's too much. And you know, inside Boogie is probably really disappointed that he couldn't liquor her up. I'm sure he needs to find any way to try and sedate her in his presence. Any way he can just slip a slip some of his uh, Native American medicinal products inside of her drink. Just anything possible. It's just, I don't know, man. I what what the fuck even is this shit anymore? Half a deck right there. Hey, hey, hey! No, no, not in this house. No, stop. Actually, stop. No. Oh my, oh my God, Desi, there's glass in the floor. I don't care. There's glass in the floor, I don't care. Desi. I there, don't care. Oh my God. This I, stupid. Oh my God. So I'm getting out. I am getting. Oh my God. I'm not wearing yeah, shoes. I don't, I don't care. Look. Hey, hey, more? hey, you wanted to pick up magic cards. You wanted to pick up magic yeah. cards. You want to clean. That's a good date night. This That's a terrible really date good date night. Really <laughs> Go ahead and clean. The worst day night I've you ever like to clean. Go ahead and clean. You clean. <laughs> you clean. Arthur Fleck laugh at the end. Probably the only funny part in the, of the entire video. But just imagine sitting there brainstorming this content out. Hey, Desi, we're going to set up some cameras. And we're going to have you be really mad. And then I'm going to talk to you like a dog. And say, no, that's a bad dog. And then you smack him on the head. You know, that's that's what we're dealing with. I don't even I don't even want to talk about it anymore, man. I included this part because I thought it'd be funny to talk about this shit. And it just makes me depressed and mad. <laughs> that's the actuality. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.